Dan Brzezowski here at Super Fitness on Reynolds Road, and we're talking about the incline bench press proper technique. First, I'm going to show you improper technique, okay? And we're not putting weights on here so that you can see how the bar is traveling not correctly to do this. So, I get a grip that's either shoulder width or slightly more than shoulder width apart, depending on the length of your arms. My spotter gives me a lift, I am up. So if I am improper, I am bringing this bar straight up and down, and my wrists are not even turning, they're staying static, and that's improper. What I want to do here is take it, and I put a slight bend back in here, and I bring it down, touch the clavicle, and back up, and it goes in an arcing motion. If you have to move a little bit there, go ahead, Vincent, to catch it coming in an arc if you don't see it. So, the next mistake people make is they do this. They pile on a bunch of weight and they're only going quarter. And so they're pulling themselves, they're not working their chest, they're working their triceps when they do this. And they'll go down to here, or worse than that is they do this, bounce it off the chest and back off. Bounce it off, you don't. It's down, touch the clavicle, back up, down, touch, back up. Real simple. Okay, we're at Super Fitness doing an incline bench press, a proper incline bench press. Do the incline bench press, you want to use full range of motion, ROM. You want to bring it down, touch the clavicle, and back up, and it should come at a slight arc. Not straight up and down, but at a slight arc. With your hands shoulder width or wider apart, minimal. And she's going to give me a spot. One, two, three. And there's a lift off. I got it. Come down and up. My spotter tried to get And did my spotter have their hands correct? Mm -hmm. Okay.